Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So another question I've been asked quite a bit about the DJI Neo is if it supports return to home. And yes, indeed it does. If you're using one of the controllers, either something like the DJI RC2, which is what I'm using today, or the RCN3, or any of the FPV gear, it does indeed support return to home like any other DJI drone. Now there are some things to keep in mind. This does not have any obstacle avoidance so you have to make sure you have your altitude height set the return to home altitude height set in the settings which we will take a look at here in a second and you want to make sure you have enough satellites connected so it can set the home point so i'm going to do a quick recording here just so i can show you so if we take a look at the top right hand side there i'll just click on it it tells us how many satellites we have connected now i'm moving the drone around and i'm under a lot of trees so it's a little bit weak but we need a good satellite connection in order to set a return to home point. And you can check to make sure you have a return to home point set by clicking on the map there. Now it'll also give you an audible notification that a return to home point has been set. But if we bring up the map, you can see we have that big yellow H. So that's our return to home point. So we're good to go there. So I'm just gonna do some demonstrations here and we'll show you how it works. So we'll get the drone up and um, we'll get it a little bit of ways from us. Now the first thing you want to do is go into your safety settings and make sure you have your return to home altitude set. Right now you can see it's set at 30 meters. Myself, I always like to set mine at 100 just to make sure it's going to clear any trees that it might encounter on the way back. And again, we can bring up our map at any time and it's gonna show us where the home point has been set. So that's where the drone is gonna come back to. Shows us where we are and where the drone is. Now we've got the drone out about 100 meters, just a little over 100 meters. Now there's three types of return to home. Uh, the first off is a manual one. If you tell the drone to come home, either by tapping the button on the screen there, clicking on return to home, or if we tap the button on the controller, the return to home button, the drone will come back to where it took off from. The other is a low battery warning return to home. Once the battery gets to a certain level, the drone will automatically come home. It's gonna determine how much power it thinks it needs to get back safely. And if you click on the battery icon there at the top, it's gonna to show you when it's gonna to return to home. You can see right now it's saying three minutes and 53 seconds before it automatically returns to home. And it also tells us when it will do a forced landing. The third way, is an emergency return to home. And that's basically if you get disconnected from the controller. Say you fly out too far or you have some interference or the battery on the controller dies and it powers off, the drone again will automatically come home. I know that's a big fear for some people that they're worried if they fly out too far and it gets disconnected, what's gonna happen? But the drone will just safely come back to where it took off from. So let's do a manual return to home here. I'll click on return to home. And you can see we get that green line there now, it uh, looks a little funny just because I am so close, but that's like a visual return to home. It's gonna show you the path that the drone is gonna take. We also get that yellow, if I can move the camera there, you can see we get that virtual home point. You can see it in behind the green line there. So that's a nice way to always know where the home point is set as well. Like if you're out flying and you lose your orientation, you can just move the drone around and just follow that yellow, yellow home point back to the where you took off from. Now, another important thing to note is some DJI drones have something called precision landing. Basically uses the camera to take a look around and it can help pinpoint exactly where it took off from. And it's very accurate. Now with the DJI Neo, it basically just uses its GPS. So it's not as accurate, but it is fairly accurate. Now at any given time, you can cancel the return to home. You can see there that uh, we're gonna be coming down pretty close to some trees. So if you get to this point, you know the drone's right above you. I can hear it now. We can tap on that cancel button and that's going to cancel the return to home and then we can just fly it in the rest of the way manually. So there we go there. You can see it returned to the exact location in which it took off from. Now I manually canceled it just because there is a tree right above me from where I took off from. So it is very important when using the return to home to keep an eye on the drone where it's flying because there is no obstacle avoidance on the DJI Neo. So it could potentially run into something. Now, if you've taken off in a nice big open field, you don't have to cancel it. It'll come down and land approximately where it took off from. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is that some DJI drones, some of the higher end DJI drones uses something called precision landing. Basically it uses the cameras on the drone 
to pinpoint exactly where it took off from. It takes like a visual reference, so it's actually pretty accurate. If you take off from a landing pad, it will actually come back and land exactly on that landing pad. With the DJI Neo, it just strictly relies on GPS, which is accurate, but you know, it can be off by a few feet, upwards of 10 feet sometimes. But the important thing is that it does bring it back to the general location. So now I'm just gonna demonstrate a fail-safe return to home. That's where the controller loses connection with the drone. In those instances, the drone is just gonna automatically come back to where it took off from. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna power off my controller. And what's gonna happen is the drone's gonna recognize that it's no longer connected and it's going to initiate a return to home. Now, one thing it's gonna do, it's gonna to climb to the altitude we have set in the settings where you set your return to home altitude. And in these situations, that's where it's very important to make sure that's set. You want it set taller or higher than the tallest obstacle. Like right now I got trees around me that are probably 20 meters. So I have mine set at 60 just to be safe. So what's gonna happen, it's gonna to rise to that 60 meters. It's gonna fly directly across to us and then come straight down. Now it doesn't have precision landing like some of the other DJI drones. It uses just GPS. So it is gonna be fairly accurate, but it could be off by a couple of feet. The other thing, if it loses connection, it's gonna constantly try and reconnect to your controller. And if it does, then you just have full control again. And if it can't, it's just gonna come down and land. So right now it's above us. I'm gonna get my camera out so I can film it for you. As you can see, there it is. The controller is powered off. Might actually land right on my camera, but no, nope, should miss it. You can see it coming down there. So it just went ahead there and landed safely. As you can see, the controller is powered off. So I just wanted to demonstrate that just to alleviate some anxiety. I know people who are brand new to drones are a little bit anxious when it comes to flying. What happens if you fly too far or you get some interference and you lose connection? The drone is just gonna automatically come back to you. So that's where it's really important to make sure that you have enough satellites and the home point is set and it's set correctly. And that way the drone will come back to exactly where it took off from. Well folks, just a quick little demonstration of return to home and how it works for those who are new. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It's always greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one.